I'm Sammy Jane, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join our little YouTube family. If you're not new here, I'm sorry, I need to take this off, I'm too hot. I'm too hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Don't mind the bulge, it's all good. Okay, where was I? What was I saying? Um, if you're not new here, then this probably looks a little bit different to where you are used to seeing me film. It's like I'm asleep. Um, yes, this is not my usual filming setup. Normally when I'm doing my tutorials and stuff, I won't be sat here, but I thought when I do hauls and like if I ever do, which I don't normally, but if I ever do like any kind of like chit chat, chilling out, having a chat with my girls, if I ever do that kind of video, I could maybe do that sat here. Uh, yeah, and also I can put like Christmas cushions and I have a Christmas cushion here by the way. But we'll ignore that for now because it's not quite that time yet. So yeah, I just thought this would be a nice little thing. Um, these lights I don't think I'm going to keep here though. Like, what do you guys think? They do turn on. I'm, I need to get an extension cord um, because I, like, I can't plug, it in, plug them in just yet. I smashed this one! I pushed the bed right up and it smashed it. But if I just go like that then you won't be able to tell. They're just not very bright. Like, in this situation, even if they were on... Don't even think you'd be able to tell right now that they were even on because then they're very very dim so i might try get something else i really like it when there's like some sort of lighting in the background so yeah also we need to do something with the wall here if anyone's got any ideas or if anyone knows any like um like etsy shops or like people who make like prints and stuff i like to support new like well not new businesses but like small businesses i really love to support people like that so yeah we could maybe get something to go there i don't know i don't know also these two that are here you can't really see them because they're not in shot so maybe they need to i don't know go a bit higher up and then something else could go there too i don't know guys i don't know guys i need your help let me know what you think i need your advice so i suppose i should probably get into this haul this is going to be a Poundland slash Home Bargains haul. I don't think I've got anything from anywhere else. If I have, I will tell you. I think everything I've got is from Home Bargains and the pound shop. So, let's get into it. I just got it here in this ugly Morrison's bag that I don't really want to be there, but it's fine. So, we'll go with Home Bargains first because that's what's on top. Now, I haven't got anything too exciting here, guys. Don't get too excited. But I wanted to get a few little bits and bats for my little nail adventure. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, check out a few videos down. I've just started teaching myself to do acrylic nails. I'm actually having loads of fun with it. Uh, so yeah, so I bought a few supplies for that. Now, Kirstie in her videos, she uses like these type of makeup sponges, you know, like to add glitter. Actually, I don't even, I say Kirsty because she's on I watch 24, like all the time. Like all I do is watch Kirsty Meekin. Hi, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. That's what she, like, yeah. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So yeah, I've been watching a lot of nail videos and people tend to use these to apply like glitter or just bits and bats like that. I don't even know if it actually was Kirsty that did that, but yeah. So I got them. Um, Price-wise, guys, I might not be able to tell you. I think they were about a quid. They weren't expensive. I got some acetone-free nail polish remover. Now, I, I always do my nails. I've always done my nails. Just regular nails with regular nail varnish. So I have normal nail varnish remover. But I needed some acetone-free tools on my acrylic nails. So I just got that. It's an XNC one. Expel Nail Care. Yeah, it's just nail varnish remover. I think this was like 99p. Might have even been cheaper than that. It might have been like 79p. It was really, really cheap. And it's a pretty good sized bottle as well. It is a 250ml bottle. I also got, hoping that this is going to be what I will use. <laughs> Bearing in mind, guys, I am new to the nail thing. Don't know what I'm doing. Not a clue. Not a clue. But this is 99% acetone. Same brand, Expel Nail Care, and it just says on it, so I didn't think I was going to find like this kind of thing in Home Bargains, just said on it, Super Strength Nail and Tip Remover. So I'm assuming that I would just like, you see I don't even know how to do it yet, I haven't YouTubed that bit yet, I haven't got quite as far as that yet. I think you just soak your nails in like this. 
I don't know whether it has to be 100% acetone or whether it can be 99% acetone. I mean, 99% guys, come on. Does that 1% really matter that much? Probably a lot of nail techs out there going, yes, it does. Uh, so if that's the case, I'm very sorry. But yes, it says artificial nail and tip remover, gel polish removal. <gasps> oh, so I can use this to take off gel polish as well. See, I didn't know that. Um, also super fast nail varnish remover. So yeah, that's what that is. Uh, this is a 150ml and I think this one was 99p. This was more expensive than the normal nail varnish remover. Uh, no, this, oh no, actually, I can't remember. You've got your nail varnish remover, yeah? You've got your acetone free nail varnish remover, which is more expensive. And then, this might have been even more expensive as well. They were, they were both under a quid. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Now, I had to get myself some allergy tablets, you guys. Allergy and hair fever relief. This is by a brand called... What card? What card? To, I can't remember. And these were either a pound or two pound. But these you get thirty capsules in. So you get thirty capsules in this one, and then you could have got I think it's the Purities or one of the big brands. You could get like seven capsules for around about the same price. There might have even been a bit more for the seven capsules because it was a brand. So I looked at the ingredients, and I'm not even joking. They were literally exactly the same. Like, pretty much, I can't remember if it was exact, but I remember looking and I'm going, Pfft. getting the cheaper ones. So for 30 tablets for like two quid, that's a month, that's like, well, sometimes I have bad days and I take more than one, but some days I forget to take them anyway. So yeah, I've got a month worth of tablets for a couple of quid, might have even been a quid, can't even remember. Wow, I'm rubbish, aren't I? Sorry guys. Next up, don't know how much this was, either. Have I not got a receipt anywhere? I don't have a receipt guys, I'm really sorry. But next up was this, which I think is really nice. Now they do something similar to, similar to this in Morrison's. And I reckon, I just remember when I was in the shop thinking, wow, that's so much cheaper. I think it was a quid. It was like a pound or like 125 or something really cheap. And in Morrison's it would have been like, for this size, it would have been like four quid or something stupid. So I was like, oh yeah, definitely getting myself some of that. Getting myself some of that. Oh, oh, oh. Um, don't know what that was. Guys, it's really, really, really sorry. If you are new, you've probably turned off by now anyway. But yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so this was really cheap and yeah, I was happy with it. Uh, home bargains also. It says house, home, house. Pattern storage basket. This, just for reference, is 198 by 254 by 104 millimetres. And that's how big it is. It's pretty good size, like, pop, pop these in. It's a pretty good size. And I got this basically just, again, for like in the, in the nail salon, in, well, in the salon bit, maybe to pop some nail bits in. I don't know. We'll see what I end up using it for, but that's kind of what I had in mind anyway. Right, so that's everything from Home Bargains. Now we're going to move on to the pound shop. And uh, <laughs> these were in a previous haul, like the Halloween stuff. They were all in a previous haul. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I got... These were all a pound, by the way. Yes. Sometimes you can get things that aren't a pound in the pound shop, but all of these were a pound. I just got myself... A new tint ball and brush. I think these are these are so good. If you're a hairdresser, you might. Well, I mean, if you're a hairdresser, you might think, "Oh, I won't dare use those." Or you might think, "Quid for all of that? Wow, that's good." Because you would pay so much more if you were to go to like um, salon wholesalers. Because what you get in here is you get your ball. It's standard ball. It's it's a ball. It's a tint ball. You get your wide brush, which this is what I wanted it for. Dogs chew my other one. You get your wide brush, your normal one, and then you get that as well. To get all of those for a quid, you are talking, like, probably in a tenner for all of them if you went and bought them separately in a salon. Guys, bargain. I just love a good blooming bargain. I do, I do. I really do. That's that. They were from the Halloween one. <gasps> Oh, I've just found something. I bought these ages ago before I started my nail journey and I've just found something exciting. 
I love it when you buy stuff and then you're saving it for a haul and then you forget what you've bought and then you're like, ah, it's really exciting. So this is really, were these from the pound shop? These actually might have been from Pound Stretcher. They are either from the Pound Shop or Pound Stretcher and these were just a pound. I'm 90% I'm sure that they were a pound, wherever they were from, I'm sure they were about. Now I did have a few other bits in here but we've used them. I got like some cleaning bits and that. I'm sure you guys wouldn't have been that interested in that anyway. Next up, see this was going to be a baking haul because I've got a few baking stuff. This is what I was just on about a minute ago though when I said I got excited. I've got two nail branches that I'm actually really excited about now. This is what they look like and they are glittery ones. I'm sorry if that's not me showing you very well. But yeah, they're just glittery ones. This one, this one you guys this one has got gold red and green glitter in it you know what that's gonna be good for that's gonna be good for christmas time boom and then this one's gorgeous also as well very wintry it's got like the holographic kind of effect to it oh cannot wait the last three things i've got in here are baking things it was originally going to be a baking haul i wanted to do a pound land baking haul but the there just wasn't enough things for me to get to do a full haul on that. So I got this little guy here. I've got this mainly for like if I do some like biscuits or something. It's not very big to be honest but just got that little guy there. I'm pretty sure this was a quid. I know you're going to be thinking if you went to the pound shop it was a pound but I did go to pound stretch at the same time. And I just can't remember whether it was from the pound shop or pound stretcher. I'm pretty sure it was from the pound shop. And these ones were just a quid from the pound shop. God, this is going really well, isn't it? These were definitely from the pound shop. These are Jane Asher's cookie cutter set. A six piece set with plain cutted edge. And it's just basically... Just that. Basically, guys. Cookie cutters. All different sizes. Hopefully I might be able to... Real, that, that big one's pretty big as well. They're going to be some pretty big cookies. I love cookies. Ooh. So yeah, makes eight to ten. What? Oh wow, it's got some. It's got a recipe on the back to make some biscuits. Get in. Score. Didn't know I was getting that. Did I when I bought it? Eh? 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 eh. Oh, what's this? No. Um. Yeah. So the last thing on here. Gosh, it needs cleaning now. It's been sat in that bag for about three months is a silicone spatula also by Jane Asher's kitchen recipe for chocolate fudge cake on the back what really amazing and oh god also a pound from the pound shop and it's just that yeah a little silicone thing my booby so yeah I just wanted to do I want, I want to start baking more and I did I, I kind of go through phases I did go through a little bit of the phase where I started like baking like biscuits and stuff they weren't very good um, but yeah, maybe I'll do some baking today. No, I'm not going to have time actually. <gasps> what time is it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I need to be quick. I gotta go get the kids. Damn, girlfriend. She'd be doing this for ages. Anyways, so that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you did. And also let me know what you think about this new background. If you think it's um kind of cool, kind of fun. We're going to spruce it up a little bit more. Maybe like do something with it. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys, as always, I love you guys so, so much. I'm so glad that I get to just sit here and chill and chat to you guys. It actually literally feels like I'm talking to you guys right now. And yeah, I love you. So I'll see you in the next video guys.